Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In a previous lesson, we discussed how we can add on folders to our start menu. So just as a review, I'm just going to go ahead and right click on resources and I'm just going to say pin to start. Now when I come back to my start menu, you'll notice that I don't actually see it until I click down here and I will see there it is. Now I do have the ability to now move these around. So let me go ahead and just move this. I'm going to drag it all the way up, 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 and then I'm just going to drop it right there. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Let's do that in a slightly different way. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to say pin to start, come back over to here. I will find it down below. And this time I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say move to front. Click on that and then bam, there you have it. I have all of the folders that I use all the time right here. So that's a really, really great tool new to Windows 11. Now let's say for example, I wanted to start organizing some of these icons that are here so I can have things that are in the same category all together in a folder. Since these are all Office programs, I want to group them likewise. So what I'm going to do is just very simply click and drag and move it right on top of it and let go. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here, drag it right there. Beautiful. And when I click on that now, I can then edit the name to say MS Office and now click away. And now, beautiful, I have that all organized. Love that. And you can see also if I go to all apps, if I find some other apps in there, if I right click on this, I can then say pin to start and I can start to find some of these other ones here. So here are some of my Adobe programs. Okay, great. Pin to start, pin to start. Here are other ones that I use. Go back. And very simply, I can start working with all these guys together just the same. Drag those in, drag that in, and then I'm going to simply just select it, and I'll just say Adobe, click away, right click on it, move to front, come back down to here, right click on this one, also move to front, and then just drag this one into Office, and then right click on that one, move to front, and I've got a nice tight, well-oiled machine, easy access to all of my files and also my favorite applications. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.